Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger, and in this lecture, I will teach you to diagram and label the various jaw suspension and tail shape patterns exhibited in Paleozoic fish. The first jaw suspension joint pattern is the amphiostylic jaw. This is where the plateau quadrate is firmly attached to the neurocranium, such that only the only jaw joint is between the plateau quadrate and the Meckel's cartilage, or the lower jaw. This is found in primitive groups of sharks, like Cladosleukia from the Devonian. Note that the hyomandibular and serratohyal cartilage has limited involvement in the jaw joint. More advanced sharks exhibit a hyostylic jaw suspension pattern. This is where the plateau quadrate is not attached to the neurocranium and can hinge forward. The jaw is pushed forward by the motion of the hyomandibula, which pushes both the lower and upper jaws forward and out of the mouth. This is the classic shark bite, and you can see the style of biting when sharks feed. The hyomandibular acts as a lever to push the jaws forward. The last style of jaw suspension is the autostylic pattern, where the palatal quadrate is fused into the neurocranium and that the lower jaw moves up and down. And this style is found in the shimrid chondrichthians. All right, so now let's define some terms in regard to the traits of the tail in fishes. We can see some fish that have a notochord that extends into the upper and lower lobes of the caudal fin, or the tail. If the notochord or spinal cord extends into the upper lobe, we call this the heterocircal tail. If it extends into the lower lobe, we call this the hypocircal tail. Some fish have a diphysical tail where the notochord runs the axis of the caudal fin. And many modern fish exhibit a homocircal tail in which the notochord or vertebral column ends with a ray of fin supports. And such a pattern is seen in goldfish, for example. All right, you should be able to diagram and label the various jaw suspension and tail shape patterns exhibited in Paleozoic fish. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Utah State University's geology program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website at benjamin Links are found in the description below.